tell us something. How do you balance on those things? I gotta keep moving. We're live at Thunder in the Rockies with Clearview Windshield. Hi. Alright, so the cool thing about Clearview is that you can actually have a lot of different styles. You can have some flexibility on uh, not just a big windshield, but you can do something smaller. This windshield is a smaller version of the Indian Vintage. Um, I personally own an Indian Vintage, so um, I came out with this design. It's a little bit narrower, a little bit shorter. Um, we still have the recurve on the top to get a little more lift of the airstream. But the cool thing is, I've got an extra set of brackets. Pop my old one off, put this one on for you know more airflow in the hot days, and it just makes it really nice. So you've got that flexibility on the Indian brand if you've got the vintage and the Chief then or the Chief um, to actually have a separate set of brackets and swap out the windshields. Really cool. Bounce back and Yeah, but I'm starting here now. Yes, I hate They have Greg, I'm Ryan, all town Ryan. With the new shields. Uh -huh. okay. And then I'll say live it under the rocks. Ready? Yep. And good? Yep. Hey, this is Craig, and I'm Ryan, and I'm here with uh, Clearview Shields. And we're live here at the Thunder in the Rockies rally. We're going to be talking about venting a windshield. Uh, there's two reasons why we vent a windshield. The most important reason is to help uh, relieve some of that front end pressure on the windshield and get it on the back side of the screen. We're trying to balance out the pressure between the front and the back, equalizing the airflow. Um, and what that'll do is help reduce the high speed buffing that you would get, uh, you know, 60 miles an hour plus. Uh, it also does allow a little airflow on you on those hot summer days. Hey guys, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the Veterans Charity Ride. Uh, it's a ride that we sponsor and they go from California, I believe, down to uh, South Coast Sturges every year. Um, they get a bunch of uh, disabled vets together, try to uh, do what they call motorcycle therapy, try to help out with some of their PTSD and help these guys uh, make it an easier transition back into a normal life. Um, and try to you know, bring a smile to their face and that. Uh, India donates a bunch of, bike, bunch of bikes to these guys. Uh, Champion Sidecar donates uh, some you know, sidecars to help these guys out, and then uh, we've donated some motorcycle windshields to them. Um, you know, that's a sponsor. We're going to talk a little bit about some of the cruiser windshields that we do. Um, again, we do the replacement screens, fit right back into your stock brackets. Uh, the cool thing about the, uh, the soft tails and the road kings is that we can actually create a quieter pocket by the way that we drop down the windshield below the fork and a little, added a little width on the side. Um, a lot of times you get that air that rolls up underneath the windshield, hits the tank, and kind of fills in that void and creates a lot of a low uh, frequency turbulence and buffeting. This will actually help reduce that substantially. So, real proud of this. We've been selling a ton of these windshields. Um, come check us out on the website, clearviewshields.com. Um, you won't be disappointed. a little bit about the 50-foot sightline test. Uh, this is the test we use to gauge the height of windshields that is going to work uh, best for you. Um, the idea is to find a flat level ground where you can place an object 50 feet out in front of the bike um, and then you sit on the bike comfortably uh, in a normal riding position and where your line of sight meets up with that 50-foot object is going to be the ideal height that you're looking for. Now there's two ways that we can measure that. Um, we do a linear measurement, which would just be measuring across the front surface of the plastic. Uh, so, for instance, on this cruiser shield, you'd go from the headlight cutout to the top end, and that would be a linear. There's also a vertical measurement that we do. Um, and for instance, on these uh, street light shields, 
That would be from the on-off switch on the motorcycle to the top edge of the screen. Um, and the reason we do that, uh, our shields don't always fall the same uh, angle as OEM, OEM screen. They might be a little bit more lean back towards you. So if you did a linear measurement, you wouldn't be getting an accurate reading uh, from the right height of the screen. That's why we do uh, a vertical measurement. Yeah, so we've got a variety of tints that are available to all of our customers. Uh, we've got a kind of a dark gray tint. This is going to block maybe about 17% uh, of the light. Um, a little bit lighter uh, gray tint is going to block a little less light. We've got uh, smoke tints. Uh, kind of a brownish color. Uh, it goes great with like a red bike, burgundy, yellow. Um, a little bit lighter, easy to see through. Of course, our light gray tent, versatile, looks great on the bike. Doesn't make uh, the shield real conspicuous if you go real big, and you can see through it day or night. It's an awesome tent. Um, I've got personally on my bike. So, yeah, we've got a lot of stuff to choose from for tents, bikes. Clear view is the best way to go. Let's talk about Recur. You know, that seems to be the, the rage on the internet. Different windshields have different recurves. We've been doing we've been doing the recurve for 20 years. And the idea behind the recurve is that we want to get that windshield just a little bit lower so you can see just over the top and get that airstream over the top of your head. More recurve is not always better. More recurve a lot of times will create distortion, it'll create turbulence. Um, our windshield has had, has enough of a recurve for that particular model and very little if not, no distortion on the shield that you're going to be happy behind the screen, you're going to see the road comfortably, you're not going to deal with any weirdness on the, on the shield like a wave shield would be. Um, and again, it's, each windshield's different. There's the same recurve on one bike is not going to be the same on another. So it's very important to discern the differences between them. Hey guys, I'm going to be talking about my Indian Scout Shield here. Uh, part of the design process that we went through to come up with what you're looking at right now. Um, so, obviously we're trying to optimize the coverage of you know, riding down, down the road, uh, long distances, trying to keep the bugs out of you, on your face, the wind out of your face. Uh, something that we do do to help uh, reduce the airflow that comes onto you, but allow you to look over the windshield, is a recurve. So you're going to see there's a slight flare at the top of the windshield. Uh, this is going to give you about an inch and a half to two inches of additional lift. And it's going to allow you to look over the windshield comfortably, give you a clear view of the road. Uh, if you're coming on the backside looking through the windshield, uh, a lot of companies do the flare, but they actually cause distortion in the plastic. We are trying to keep it as optically clear as possible. We don't want you to look through the plastic and see waves and distortion in the plastic. We put just enough recurve to be effective in the windshield, but not enough to actually distort the plastic. All right, so Clearview Shields, we do a ton of different bikes, you know, BMW. Harley Davidson, Indian, Yamaha, Suzuki, we're, we're an all bike company manufacturer. So we do shields that you would normally not see replacements for, um, which is great because it you know, gives a lot of versatility to those folks that have a bike that uh, you don't see around that often. But we've been doing this for 33 years and we've kept a lot of the templates from bikes that uh, from the early 60s. So. Uh, like this uh, fat bob here. There's not too many companies making a windshield for this. And we've got a slew of different options that you wouldn't find anywhere else. So it's so real important to know that you know 
we'll do a OEM replacement and we'll do custom and we'll build it to you. We're here local in Fort Collins, but you can uh, come down to see us. More of a curve right here. We put as much big curve in there as you need to get that airflow up and over the top. Yeah. So, and again, we would love to have you come out. Trump for 2020 for president. Man, I'll tell you what, that clock's How many voters do we have? An hour, I don't yeah. Know. Yeah, you'll be amazed on our okay. man. And with the men, it's going to make it even better. Yeah. 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 You know, stops are pretty clear as well. So, you know, <laughs> That's a good one. Right well, we got to make a new rover. Legal balance can't Prices range anywhere from 99 bucks up to, uh, you know, 200 to pay. Depend on the yoke and vote. Why can't bell it? Because I mean, our price point's getting right? a little lower than the clock. Right? I vote every year, too. Hi, folks. Yeah, I'd love to have you come out. I'm Ryan. I'm Ryan. What's your name? Lloyd. 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 Lloyd